All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right, um, you know, I'm at you again with another lesson. Uh, I was watching uh, Elder Apostle Ramlab. I watched Elder Manatazat. You know, they, they uh, you know, they pulled out this, um, you know, they caught wind, you know, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, through brothers linking them in. And um, they saw this today. I didn't see it, you know, so I had uh, went on a website on Google and I typed in snap outage, you know, snap outage. All right. And, um, you know, it says snap EBT outage map, you know, and this is uh, beautiful news, man, because. This just proves, you know, that the Lord is uh, showing signs, you know, of this place that you called America is fallen. You know, this place is truly fallen. And um, and it's, and it's through the hands of the Most High, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, uh, you have uh, recent reports mostly. Originated from Chicago, Brooklyn, Detroit, Indianapolis, the Bronx, Philadelphia, Farndale, Atlanta, Cleveland, and Columbus. All right, so, you know, these are outage of the EBT. You know, a lot of people, you know, went to purchase goods and checked it out, yo. This is supposed to be the Memorial Weekend. You know, children got out of school Friday. You know, they got off Monday. Certain people, you know, certain adults, they got off of work Monday. <laughs> And it's going to be a lot of uh, grilling, cooking out, you know, for this uh, memorial, you know, which is supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, a day for for the fallen soldiers, you know. But it's going to be many fallen soldiers, all right, when the Lord Yahweh Shai return. Because the U.S. military, you know, the Chinese military, the Russian military, the Arabs military, all right, in the different countries... All right, they're all going to fight against Yahweh Shai. So this is like, you know, the Most High, you know, he's uh, showing his signs, man. And his prophets are out, you know, the prophets got watch, you know, and they're putting, this, they're putting it out there, man. So if you're not in tune into this truth, you're not in tune into the scriptures or knowing what's going on, then you're going to be left behind. Straight up, man. You know, this word is given to the elect. You know, here it is, it's Memorial Weekend. And it's supposed to represent for what? Fallen soldiers. But then you got the SNAP EBT, which is welfare, which is also fallen, <laughs> you know. And then really, Yahweh Shai, you know, <laughs> he's going to have these troops falling, you know, because none of these armies are going to be able to win against the power, you know, the, the creator of the universe. All right. The most high, you know, his son. OK, the holy angels uh, just this week. Um, you had the government recently uh, admitting about UFOs that they are real. They had a lot of investigate, a lot of investigations going on on it for many years. They finally revealed, man. After all these years, after all those different incidents that people had, you know, they hush, they hush certain people up. They hush, you know, certain people up, and they, you know. Put that, uh, put the, the, you know, basically the evidence of the chariots, which we understand to be the angels of the most high riding those vehicles, you know, and also our take, you know, our, uh, our vehicles to get up out of here, you know, for the elect, man, you know, but anyway, you know, um, as you see United States and you see where the red is at, you know, and the yellow is where they have an outage at, man. You know, look at that. You got New York, man. You got uh, St. What's this? Detroit. Look, Atlanta, really red. So it's a lot of people, man. You know, and um, what came to mind in this? You know, I watched the elders videos and everything. Um, You know, so I'm going to just bring out some scriptures that I thought, you know, through the spirit and power of your help, I was shy that can help edify also uh, on this, uh, this matter. All right. Um. You know, uh, you know, like the apostles did, you know, uh, Elder Apostle Ramlab, uh, Elder Manatazak, they, 
they went down here on the comment board because, you know, these people are crying out because they don't have the EBT. You know, I'm not going to read these. You can see for yourself. You know, you can watch the eldest videos as well. They went through it, you know. But uh, I just want to tackle a few scriptures and I'm going to make this thing short. All right. So I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I'm going to bring it back up here. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let's bring it a little bit out right there. And bring this up right there. All right. And uh, let's go into a few scriptures. So what I did was I know that this is a famine. You know, this is also the sign that the Lord, he's going to bring a famine. You know, and this is ultimately also Esau. You know, doing his test runs and cutting the switch off. You know, having a malfunction going on with the cards. People going to the supermarkets, Walmarts, and gathering all these foods, and they can't buy it. You know, with the with the uh, with the card, man, the snap card, the EBT card. You know, but you know, these the Lord said these things were gonna happen, man. All right, a famine of food and water. You know, just like a famine on His word, this truth. It's only for a short time because we're at the end of this thing. And then what? You know, the famine of this word of getting this truth, learning who you are as a Hebrew Israelite from the seed of your father. If you are of the tribe of Jacob, you know, knowing the heavenly father's true name, the prophecies, you know, knowing the, scene, knowing the time you're living in, you know, it's all going to come to an end. And just like before that, well, let me say in the middle of that or whatever, how the Lord do that. All right. There's going to be a famine of food and water. And what we're seeing right now is a famine. So um, I, I, what I did was I put in the blue letter and um, excuse me, hold on, hold on. I put in the blue letter and what I did was in the search bar, I put uh, famine and I got a few scriptures. So I'm going to go through a few scriptures that I see that fit. And um, Lord willing, I hope, you know, the whole for elect was edified, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 15 and 2. So it says, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then shalt thou tell them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, such as for the such as for death to death and such as are for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine to the famine and such as are for captivity to captivity. OK, so this is the Lord telling Jeremiah. He said, look, he said, um. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Tell them that guess what? You know, you guys are, are, are for destruction. You know, it tells in the Apocrypha that what? Two thirds were born in vain. All right. So he says, what? Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, such, such as for death to death, you know, because, you know, the Lord appointed certain deaths. Now, this is not a, a, a you know, this is not, um, you know, it's you no know, telling what time they'll turn this back on. Maybe this week after the Memorial Weekend. Who knows? All right. But, you know, I'm bringing out, you know, when this famine do hit and you can't buy food and water. When it's martial law, they declare World War Three. They're forcing the RFID microchip. You know, a lot of you guys want to go off the grid. You're going to be scarce of food and water, man. And guess what? It's all appointed to what? Your death, your destruction. Okay. If you're not right with the most high. So it says... Such as are for the death to the death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine. So that means some people are going to die just as a grievous death, getting shot. Some people are going to die by the sword, which is your modern day gun, bombs, all right? Um, you know, even a knife. It says, um, and such as are for the famine, meaning some people are going to die, all right, for a lack of food and water. You're going to starve to death. It says, and such as are for captivity to captivity, man. All right, so let me get to the next scripture. This is Jeremiah 16 and 4. They shall die of grievous deaths. So what's coming here to this place that you call America is really a great tribulation, a great destruction, okay? You know, that, that it was never seen on the earth before. And, um, and if you're not right with the Most High, if you're not of the elect, you're going to die of a grievous death. All right. You that live here on the soils of America. OK, because this place is ultimately going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire, man. You know, when the scriptures talk about the lake of fire, the lake of fire is North America. OK, it says they shall die of grievous deaths. 
they shall be lamented. Neither shall, it's like you, they shall not be lamented. All right. Neither shall they be buried, but they shall be dung upon the face of the earth. All right. So no one is going to mourn over you when you die, man. All right. Hey, you might even watch your loved ones die through the famine. You know, this is that real. It says, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth and they shall be consumed with the sword and by famine. All right. They go to key word and by famine and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. All right. So those that die of a famine, your body is going to be left to what? The animals, man. Your body is going to be left to be feast upon by animals, man, by birds and and uh, fat, like it says, uh, uh, it says carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven, which are the birds and for the beasts of the field, you know, foxes and other little rodents, you know, chewing on you, man. You know, and that's a shameful death, man. And that's a shameful death given to you by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's why we in a time that you should seek mercy. You know, if you waking up, you straddling the fence, straddling the fence, you know. Like Apostle, Apostle Tar said a couple of years ago, you know, you, sh you know, if you're window shopping, you better hurry up and buy, you know, before the doors of repentance close, man. You know, you and your loved ones going to die of a grievous death, man. This truth is that serious that your life is on the line, whether you think it applies to you or not. The whole world is going to be affected by the ways, by the power, by the ways and power of the Lord, man, of his prophecies. All right. The whole world is going to be affected. Doesn't matter where you at in the world. There's gonna be a great war. Okay? There's gonna be a great tribulation. Okay, which is the Lord gonna force RFID chips upon the people, man. Alright, so it says, um, which is the mark of the beast. So now let me get to the next one. This is Jeremiah chapter 18 and 21. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Alright? See, key word there. Famine. So that means that children, they're gonna die of a famine, man. They're going to die for lack of uh, help. They're going to lose parents. They're going to lose their loved ones, you know, their guardians. And they're going to die of a famine. It says, therefore, deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. And their wives uh, be bereaved of their children and be widows and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. You know, and we know also that when this when these devils do declare World War Three and they do declare war going into Iran, we know that sometime soon they're going to issue a draft. All right. And they're going to take a lot of these young men, children, you know, they're going to take you and they're going to grab you up. They're going to detain you. You know, a couple of years ago, I believe with Obama, they passed a law called the NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act. And that means they could detain you as much as they will. You know, you don't have to see a judge. They're going to hold you as long as they will, man. So it's nothing for them to issue a draft, you know, when they declare war. All right. World war, you know. So a lot of these men, they're going to die in the war, man. You're going to die in battle. You're going to die trying to, uh, trying to uh, you know, uh, save your family, man. You know, you're going to die out here in the battles in the streets against your neighbors. You know, when you get drafted and go to the war, you're going to die against the other nations. All right. And ultimately, you're going to perish when you fight against the Most High and His Son, which the Lord, the, the, the Lord, Yahweh, the Father, He's sending His Son back. All right. So you're going to fight against Yahweh Shai, man, and the angels. And you're going to perish because you won't defeat that. All right. So um, let me get this next scripture, Jeremiah 21 and 7. It says, and afterwards, say of the Lord Yahweh, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his servants and the people and such as are left in this city from the peasants. So showing you even in the past in history, the Lord always dealt with peasants. You know, he dealt with destruction. He dealt with uh, famines, bringing a famine upon the land. All right. He dealt with he dealt with the wicked and he, he dealt with them in a in the fashion that they desire as far as their reward. You know, if you reap wickedness, if you sow wickedness, you will reap wickedness, man. All right. You reap what you sow. The most high created the wicked for the wicked, you know, 
It says, And afterwards, say of the Lord Yahweh, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his servants, and the people, and such as are left in the city from the pestilence, in this city from the pestilence, from the sword, and from the famine, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those that seek their life. And he shall smite them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them, neither have pity, nor have mercy. All right. So the Most High has always brought these same plagues, you know, these same, you know, uh, uh, let me see. How can I say it? The Lord always dealt with these different types of um, 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 destructions, you know, that come upon man. You know, pestilences, famines, you know, these are the things that he do, all right, and to the wicked, man, you know, so the famine is nothing new, and for the Lord to, you know, give up a, a cry, you know, have these these two-thirds, you know, up here crying about EBT, you know, let me read a few, it says, is anybody getting a dental code when they're trying to use the EBT? <laughs> Any word if EBT is back up in Georgia? Any news, Ohio, <laughs> you know, they crying out, man. EBT down in Las Vegas. Y'all caught your card and see when you back up, back up in Tennessee, EBT, back up in Tennessee. So look, it's probably back up in certain places now, but guess what? You know, people, people was concerned, man. People was concerned, you know, so don't think that, you know, it's over. You know, look what happened in the beginning of this year. You had a government shutdown. All right. And they, what they was talking about taking away your EBT. They was talking about taking away your Section 8, you know, your uh, SNAP, which is the EBT that we looking at. You know, they was looking to take away your vintage, man, your vintage. All right. Your benefits. So don't think that it's sweet, man. You know, we're going through those uh, birth pains, man. All right. As is written in the scriptures. Okay. We're going through those birth pains because there's a great trouble that's coming upon you tribes, man. And what I'm talking about is you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And there's great trouble that before you, man. All right. Um, Where was I at? I think I read nine. Let's see. No, I was on... Jeremiah 21 and 7. So let's get Jeremiah 21 and 9. It says, He that abideth in this city shall die by the sword and by the famine. All right. So you that here in America, all right, when this thing do kick off and really go down, all right, for good, when there's no coming back. Okay. Scriptures also say, Take bond for her pain. You know, if she could be healed. But guess what? America can't be healed. This place is too far gone. All right. This iniquity. Of this place of this land, you know, uh, uh, goes up to the heavens, man, reaches up to the clouds. All right. So it says, Jeremiah 21 and 9, he that abideth in the city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilences. But he that goeth out and, f and falleth and falleth to the Chaldeans that besiege you, he shall live and his life shall be unto him. For a prey. All right. So either way, the Lord is going to get you. Okay. Uh, just like the Lord talked about. Um, what was that? Uh, I think it's Amos 5. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Uh, Amos 5, I think. Because there's no getting away from the most high, man. All right. The Lord is going to get you. If the Lord is called your name in the heavens. He's going to get you, man. You know, that's why we pray us brothers of the hopeful elect. We pray that the Lord show mercy, man. You know, that he uh, deliver us and not, not you know, give, uh, pour down his wrath upon us, but deliver us, man. Um, let me see here. Let me see something. Okay, Amos 5, 19. All right, so this is Amos chapter 5, verse 19. It says, and if it, 
it says and that as if um mm, let me read some into it. Uh huh, I start at uh start at fifteen. No, I start at fourteen. So I'm gonna read into it. This is Amos chapter five and fourteen. Nope, I start at thirteen. Amos chapter five and thirteen. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time. All right, the humble. It says, for it is an evil time. And we know that this is an evil time and we're approaching that evil time. It says, verse 14, seek good and not evil. So all of the two thirds of our people, they seek evil. They don't seek good. They don't even know what's good. You know what's good? Good is seeking after the heavenly father and the son. All right. Coming back and repenting, you know, into the most high, man. You know, learning who you are and uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. You know, cleaning up your act, knowing, knowing what type of manner, you know, you should carry yourself in today, man. Instead of going to the excess of riots and, and banquets and uh, worshiping pagan holidays, eating defiled foods, you know, you're supposed to seek the good. So it says, seek good and not evil that ye may live because the whole four elect, you know, we seek to live, man. All right. We we seek to, to uh, live, man. It says, um. Seek the good and not the evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord Yahweh, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil, see? And that's why the scriptures prove, we could we could prove in the scriptures, all right, the Bible, that the Lord also hates, okay? So if you want to say we teach hate, I guess we do. Because the Heavenly Father teaches that he hates. And he also loves just as well as he loves. He also hates. So verse 15, it says, hate the evil. And when you read the context of the scripture and the verses above, the Lord is telling us what to be like, what to do. All right. He's telling you, hate the evil. So if I say I hate this guy or these Edomites, all right, the enemies, I have every right to. All right. You know, other than your vain opinion and how you feel, you know, you say, don't, don't hate God is love. God is love. Well, that ain't the scriptures, man. Okay. Because the most high hates as well. Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, he hates as well. So it says, seek good and not evil that ye may live. And so that, and so the Lord Yahweh, the God of hosts shall be with you as ye have spoken, hate the evil and love the good. And establish judgment in the gate. Excuse me. It says, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord, Yahweh, God of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, the Lord, Yahweh, the God of hosts, the Lord, say thus. Welling shall be in all streets. All right, because that's what's going to happen ultimately when the Lord do bring a famine on the work, a famine of food and water. Excuse me. Welling shall be in the streets, in all the streets. All right. So as you see here, all right, there's welling going on now. And this little temporary, temporary shutdown. All right. From EBT. These people are crying out, man. All right. So how much more when the Lord don't allow, he put the spirit on these Edomites to take away your EBT, you know, there's going to be crying in the streets, man. So it says, um, well, and shall be in all the streets and they shall say in all the highways at last, at last, and they shall call the husband man to mourning and such as are skillful of lamentation to welling and in all Excuse me, what was that? Oh, verse 17. And in all vineyards shall be welling, for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord Yahweh. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right, so for you guys that think you know the Lord, well, we're going to see in that day, all right? Because the scriptures say, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? All right. If it's not salvation of Yahweh Shai, what end is it for you? It's actually death and destruction. It says the day of the Lord is darkness 
and not light. So what's going on here? All right. You see in the EBT down, it may be back up in certain places, but guess what? Ultimately, this place, America, is going to be the end. Lights out everywhere, man. It's going to be more red. It's going to be red all over this place. This is the lake of fire, man. North America. United States of America, man. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand upon the wall and a serpent bit him. Right. It says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. So it doesn't. So the point of the matter was there in verse 19. That's why I grabbed the scripture. So I'm read it again as it, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house. And linked his hand upon the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? So this is showing you that you can't escape from out of the Lord's hands, man. All right? That's just the point. You can't escape from the Most High, man. All right? So I'm going to read maybe two more scriptures, and I'm going to wrap this thing up. Um, I was back here. I'm back in the blue letter uh, in the search bar for famine, and the scriptures came up as... It's 84 verses, all right, that have the word famine in the Bible. So um, I believe I was here, Jeremiah chapter 29, uh, no, 27 and 13. It says, why will ye die, thou and thou people, by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, as the Lord have spoken against the nation that will not serve the king of Babylon? All right, so let's get Jeremiah 29, 17. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like a veil figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. And that's going to be ultimately coming upon this place, man, America, because this place is so evil, Okay. And I don't even have to go into details and letting you know that you should see that. All right. The morals, the spirituality is evil. The standards, you know, the ideology, you know, the, the mindset, man, everything that you see, everything that you learn, you teach, they teaching your children, you know, from the entertainment, Hollywood is all so evil, man. All right. There's no righteousness. They want to get rid of the Bible because the prophets are teaching the scriptures the correct way. And now the, now the Edomites are scared. You elites are scared. You don't want us to be right. Now you're admitting that the UFOs are real, which we call IFOs. Okay. Which mean, which we identify them as the chariots of the most high, the chariots of Yahweh. All right. This place is evil, man. Uh, Jeremiah 29, 18, and I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine. All right. So famine is part of the sword. It says, and with the pestilence and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth to be a curse and an astonishment and an hissing and a reproach among all nations, whether I have driven them. All right. Let me get this. Jeremiah 32, 24. Behold the mount, they are come unto the city to take it, and the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it, because the sword and of the famine and of the pestilence. So when I'm reading in these scriptures, and you know, I didn't have this thing lined up, I went to the search bar, I put in famine. As I keep reading these scriptures, it's always famine and pestilence is together. So that gives you that gives you the idea that look, man, wasn't the apostles starting with a pot, elder apostle Tahar? Uh, he was on watch and started pushing and vibrating about how they quarantine in certain uh, places because of uh, certain diseases. You know, they brought back the Ebola, which was back in 2014. You know, I got videos on that when we was covering it back then, and now all of a sudden it's 2019 and they're bringing it back. And some other type of diseases. Those are pestilences, man. And then here it is. We got this temporary famine. All right. This is like the fourth scripture. 
that talks about the pestilence and then and then the famine. You know, maybe they they go hand in hand. All right. Yeah, and it will because if you a lack of food and water, all right, and you don't have no food, people are dying. You know, what happens? Diseases spreads, man. Let alone the discreet the diseases that uh the Lord allowed Esau to create in their laboratories, you know. So um Jeremiah 30, 20, 20, 32, 24. Behold the mount, they are come unto the city to take it, and the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it, because the sword and of the famine and of the pestilence, and what thou hast spoken is come to pass, and behold, thou seest it. Um Jeremiah 32 20 Jeremiah 32 36 and now therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh the God of Israel concerning this city whereof ye say it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the peasants you know that's that's this is probably gonna be, that's basically it man it's so many more scriptures here of famine I just picked a few that I thought you know that I read I brushed up and uh, that's it, man. You know, that's the lesson, man. You know, this is probably, you know, I don't know. It's what? It's around 1.50 a.m. Uh, you could say now it's Saturday a.m. You know, it was just Friday. All right. Today's the 25th. May 25th. And this happened, man. And this is also your uh, Memorial Day weekend. All right. So, <laughs> And that represents the fallen soldiers. So I guess they elites, you know, they plan. They said, fuck it, you know, fallen soldiers and memory. You know, we're really the elites don't celebrate none of these damn holidays. They just do it to keep Jake sleep and keep them occupied. You know, the sheeple, you know, not just sheep, uh, not just Jake, but these other nations as well. Because all you people are nothing but sheeple. You're zombies and you just follow social media and mainstream media. You know, and you go on with your vain life. You know, you're not worth anything. That's why the scriptures say you were born in vain. You know, just worthless. You're just born to die. All right. You know, so if not of the elect, that's just what it is, man. Because this is that season. We're in that time where the Lord is truly for his, his elect of Israel. You know, not even all Israel is going to be delivered this time on the second deliverance. You know, like it was on the first time through, through Egypt. You know, that was a great deliverance, man, that rocked the world. So, and this deliverance is even going to trump that. So, <laughs> this is some, this is a, a sweet, beautiful time to be living in if you love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the righteous. So, you know, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word sincerely and truth. Shalom.